Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my Sephora sale recommendations along with this glowy makeup look that I thought would be perfect for Eid coming up. So, um, and I also have some questions that I had screenshotted that I had asked you guys over on my Instagram just to make this video a little bit more interesting. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. First, let's start out with some skincare. There's a few products that I like to apply before I do my makeup and that includes a lip mask. This is the Tatcha one. Pretty much every skincare brand has their own version of a lip mask. I've tried so many different ones and this one, you guys, has been my absolute favorite. They call it the Japanese Peach Lip Jelly and it really does feel kind of like a jelly-like consistency. It's so nourishing, hydrating, moisturizing, and looks kind of like a gloss when you have it on and it's really pretty. This is like the only thing that I want to have on my lips like at all times. So I really would highly suggest picking that up in the Sephora sale. The next product I like to apply before I put my makeup on is a moisturizer. And I'm so excited to chat with you guys about this one. This is the new Belief Aqua Balm Brightening Vitamin C Cream. Thank you so much to Belief for sponsoring this portion of today's video. You guys have probably heard me rave about Aqua Balm in the past. It's one of my absolute favorite moisturizers. It's a gel cream formula, which is my favorite texture in a moisturizer. It's super lightweight and just sinks into the skin so nicely, but it's super like intensely hydrating and just gives your skin that like drink of water. Oh, I love it so much, but the fact that they came out with it in the vitamin C version is like a dream for me because my biggest skincare concern is hyperpigmentation and discoloration and just like evening out my skin tone and vitamin C is perfect for that. It's so brightening and just really nice to just even out your complexion. The Belief Aqua Balm Vitamin C Cream contains vitamin C, E, and four types of hyaluronic acid. I didn't even know there were several types of hyaluronic acid, so that just goes to show you how hydrating this stuff is. If you have dry skin, you will love this, but also I feel like if you have oily or combination skin, you will also love it as well because it's very lightweight. It's not oily or anything like that. So if you're trying to decide between the original Aqua Balm and the Aqua Balm with vitamin C, if you've tried the original version they both have that really nice gel cream consistency I went ahead and swatched both of them on my hand just so I could compare it really has the same beautiful formula which is why I'm so excited that they just took that original formula and kind of just added a little citrusy twist to it and they added extra vitamins and those brightening properties with the vitamin C I'm so so excited about this one and definitely would recommend you guys pick it up in the Sephora sale you can get up to 20% off depending on your membership status with code OMG spring. This will be linked down below in the description box if you guys are interested in picking it up. And thanks again to Believe for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Okay, just a couple of skincare things before I move on to doing my makeup. You guys already knew I was going to talk about the Good Jeans by Sunday Riley. It is my favorite chemical exfoliant that just helps my skin so much because it smooths out the texture and it just really helps like dissolve or just like smooth out the dead skin cells somehow and helps me prevent breakouts. It's just a magician. So I would highly suggest picking this up in the sale as well because it is a pricey and I always make sure to get one when it's on sale. This is one of my favorite physical exfoliants. It's also a little bit pricier that I like to pick up in the sale. It's called the Sugar Face Polish by Fresh. This is actually a new one and I'm gonna open it and smell it because oh my god it literally has the most delicious scent. Oh my gosh okay it smells like a spa with like strawberries or something. It's just, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to use this. The next thing is one of my favorite sunscreens. This is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. I've talked about this several times in the past. It is clear and it's SPF 40, so it's perfect for every day, perfect for underneath makeup. I should probably go ahead and apply some, honestly. Let's see, it like goes on clear and it's also kind of a good primer because I feel like it has a little bit of tackiness to it so makeup sits really well on top. The next product is my cleanser that I have been obsessed with recently. This is the Jelly Cleanser by Junk Elephant. It's gentle, but it also like really dissolves makeup like super well. I would just highly suggest if you guys are in need of a new cleanser to try this one out. I think you guys will love it. The last skincare recommendation that I would highly recommend picking up in the sale because it's a little bit more pricey, but it's so good is the Necessaire 
products. I would also be sharing the body wash, but I'm out of that and I need to pick up some more in the sale. But this is the lotion and the body serum. Oh my gosh. So Necessary's whole thing is like skincare grade for your body. And I just feel like I see the biggest difference in my skin when I use Necessary, especially this body lotion. Both of these are unscented, so it's like no frill, no fluff. You just put this on after you get out of the shower, and it's nice that it's unscented in case you like shave. It's not irritating or anything like that, but it contains so many vitamins and things that are just so good for your skin and just leaves your skin so soft and beautiful. This is their serum, body serum. So actually, if you don't like have like a thick cream for your body, you want something really lightweight, I would highly suggest trying out the body serum because this stuff dries really quickly. It's like you can just put this on and then it dries quickly and then you can just put your clothes on right afterward. You don't have to like wait for things to like sink in or dry or anything. And it still has a lot of good vitamins and everything in here and it keeps you hydrated. So, and also it'd be good for like summer as it gets like hotter outside. You don't want like a thick cream. So anyways, I can rave about Necessaire forever. Let's go ahead and move on to my makeup. So today I'm using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I'm in the shade four and this foundation is one of my favorite favorites. I always recommend it in the Sephora sale because it is just like the most beautiful airbrushed formula, but it's kind of like, it's not the highest coverage, but it is buildable if that makes any sense. So I have another one that's a little bit more full coverage that I always recommend as well. It's one of my favorites. It's the Born This Way by Too Faced. I'm sure a lot of you guys already like love and use this one as well because it's such a fan favorite. And I'm also I'm in the shade Vanilla in that one. Those two are like my favorite foundation so if you're looking for one that's like more full coverage i would go with the Too faced one but if you're wanting one that looks more like natural but that you could kind of build up to more of like a medium coverage i would go with the armani people always say that they would wear the armani luminous silk for their wedding honestly it doesn't give me enough coverage that i would want to wear it for like a super special event like my wedding i don't i don't know maybe if you have like perfect skin and you don't have like anything that you're trying to cover up, I I feel like I would go with the Too Faced Born This Way if I was gonna go and do like a very special event. I personally wore <laughs> that foundation on my wedding day. That is the finish of the Giorgio Armani with about, I think it was like two pumps. I don't remember if I did two or three pumps, honestly, but you can still see like my freckles peeking through and things. Those are my foundation recommendations. I wanted to recommend a couple other products that are not foundations, but that I reach for all the time and they're very different. So let me explain. This is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. This is light coverage. So if you are looking for something that you can just throw on on a daily basis to just even out your complexion, give you a really gorgeous glow, this is stunning. I reach for this all the time on just like the on a daily basis whenever I'm not really taking pictures or doing anything but I just want my skin to look really even and glowy this is beautiful I'm in the shade 4.5 wheat this is very different because it is full coverage this is the it cosmetic CC cream and I honestly reach for this like throughout the week when I'm filming or taking pictures or something and I really want my skin to look perfect it has like that sun protection as well because it's SPF 50 so it's just kind of like an all-in-one type of thing that you can just throw on whenever you're just like trying to put your makeup on in a rush anyways moving on to concealer this is my favorite nothing has changed in the past like probably like four years this is my Too Faced born this way concealer it is full coverage it is so creamy the formula is stunning and i'm in the shade porcelain and you would think like that sounds really light but somehow that's my shade i don't know why i thought i was gonna have all this time in this video to answer questions but i'm gonna really try to fit in some of these questions here and there so meeting someone in a halal way i feel lost and like i'll be single forever first of all i'm so sorry you're feeling that way it's such a difficult feeling and just know that god has the perfect timing for everyone it may not be on our timing but just keep faith and know that god's timing is perfect and that your time will come inshallah but the way that i would meet someone if i didn't have omar at this point i feel like the best thing is to like to join the dating apps honestly i would not have any shame in meeting someone on social media you can still keep it halal i feel like we have to move with the times and we're not always going to be in situations where we're meeting other people in person nowadays you know everything's virtual so why wouldn't it be okay to meet someone online i don't know honestly i would join all the dating apps i would let everybody in my circle all my friends know that i am looking actively searching and you know all you can do is just put yourself out there 
and don't have any any shame in that now i'm gonna set my concealer with the fenty pro filter powder in the shade butter i have used this powder for a couple of years now it's my favorite setting powder it makes your under eyes super flawless it's not cakey and it really just helps set all day it like really helps prevent any creasing. What is the best advice you would give to a 21 year old girl, i.e. me? I thought this one was a good one because at 21 years old, I was definitely, oh, by the way, this is the Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick in Baked. I've had so many people recommend this to me and I love it. It is so beautiful. I've been really into like the cream look. So we're gonna do that today. At 21 years old, I was so worried about what other people thought of me. That's just kind of the kind of person that I am. I'm definitely a people pleaser and I would have told myself, I guess, at that age, like, just worry about you, you know? Like, other people aren't thinking about you as much as you think they're thinking about you. Most people are just worried about themselves, you know? So, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I realized that at that age, that people are really only worried about themselves and the fact that I think they're putting that much thought about me, it just, that wasn't happening. So anyways, I hope that that makes any sense. Just, I would say just do what's right for you. Don't worry about other people judging you or whatever. Do you guys see how beautiful that um, milk makeup stick is? It blends so nicely. It's not like, it's like the perfect bronze. It's not too dark for my skin tone or muddy or anything like that. It just gives a really nice warmth. And then I'm gonna actually go in with the milk makeup uh, blush in perk. It's like a really pretty peachy color. I'm just gonna put that onto the apples and blend it out. This is actually the mini version as well. Like I really just wanted to try them out. So I love that they have these like mini options as well. The next question is, do you ever feel insecure? How do you always look and feel con content with yourself? Oh girl. Oh my gosh. Well, kind of going off of the last question at 21. Oh my gosh. I was so insecure, but the thing is you just gotta fake it till you make it. That is my advice for this question. If you are not very confident in yourself, the only way to really get confident with yourself is just acting like you're already confident and just practicing that vibe and just fake it till you make it. That is the best advice that I can give and it's not easy. It's easier said than done, but that's just the best advice I can give. I've definitely come a long way, but there was definitely a period of time in my life, especially when I first put on my hijab. I was very, very just self-conscious all the time. And I just had to like put my head up high, smile, just act like everything was calm, cool, and collected. And eventually I learned how to actually be confident <laughs> instead of just acting that way. That is the blended foundation with the cream bronzer and the cream blush like super natural but i am gonna go ahead and go over this a little bit with some powder blush because this is so beautiful this is the laura mercier blush in bellini and it's probably my favorite powder blush that i've tried um in the past like a year or so it's the most beautiful peachy color so if you have olive skin or warm skin or anything this is gonna look stunning on you and i like to kind of just Blend it out over my nose as well just to give me that overall sun-kissed look. I don't know if you guys noticed by the way I do my makeup, but I really just like blend everything together. Just the way that I do my makeup. I don't like to do like streaks or anything. I just blend everything together. As far as br like powder bronzer recommendations, maybe I'll add a little bit of this as well. This is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. That is... My skin, let me put some highlight. I was gonna recommend the Becca liquid highlight, but then I realized they discontinued it. What the heck, I bought it. <laughs> I did buy it maybe over a year ago, maybe two years ago, honestly. But I haven't really found a liquid highlight other than the Iconic London Drops, those are good, but I'm just gonna use my powder highlight today. This is the Kilowatt Highlight and Hustler Baby that I've used for so freaking long, but it's so good. <laughs> And I've just like tried other highlights and I just can't stop using this one. It is beautiful. So I really just like to use this more pigmented side. I wish that it just came with just that one. It's like a, like a little bit of a warm tone champagne. Oh, by the way, this brush, I don't know why I wasn't using this earlier, but this is another Sephora sale recommendation. It's the Hourglass like double-ended face brush. I use this for bronzer and blush and then highlight on this side. So pretty. I like to add my highlight to the top of my forehead. 
the nose and bridge and a cupid's bow i kind of stopped putting it on my chin because i feel like that's where i kind of took it overboard <laughs> i put it everywhere else and then my chin was like okay it's a little much i wore this hijab so that i didn't mind getting it dirty and it's probably so disgusting <laughs> it's gonna be so gross after this that is the face so and now i'm gonna move on to my eyes no let me do brows first next i'm going in with the brow wiz and shade taupe by anastasia and i feel like if you haven't tried taupe honestly this color will work for so many different skin tones because it is more of like a cool toned shadow color if you're un unsure of like what color to get for your brows i would just try taupe and see if you like it because i've done other people's makeup in the past and i've always used taupe on them with all different skin tones and it's all looked good so and my brows are really dark and taupe is pretty light and it still looks really good so i don't know i would just try taupe if you haven't tried that one yet i also started using the clear brow gel by anastasia as well and it's so good how did you keep things halal before your nikah was it hard for people who don't know what those words mean? So how did you keep things like PG uh, before you got married, basically? It's definitely hard. Like the, the thing that you're asking, like, is it hard? Yes. And I feel like we should talk about that more. Like just because we're Muslim and just because, yes, we have those values. It's definitely not an easy thing to do. You have to have true self-discipline and it's something that you really have to work on and you have to be kind of like in agreement together like okay we both want to wait until marriage or we both want to don't want to cross this boundary until we get married you know it's something you kind of have to really communicate and set those boundaries within your relationship together something that helped us is i put on my hijab before we got engaged so i don't know i feel like there was that like physical barrier like obvious barrier there for us so and another thing that we did is we wouldn't really spend any time alone together we would always be with my family or with his family or out in public places like at a restaurant or you know something and even if we finished at the restaurant we would try not to like sit in our cars like by ourselves or we would like make sure that if we went to a restaurant we would like take our little sisters with us or something it's definitely not easy but those are some things that we did to to work on that next i'm gonna go in with my eyeshadow this is the tartlet toasted palette so this is really warm like orangey shades so if you love those shades you'll love this palette highly recommend i'm just gonna go in with this latte color it's pretty for the crease and let me try to answer another question your advice on qualities one should look for in a potential spouse slash partner so obviously there's like you know all of the obvious ones you want to look for someone patient and honest and loyal and kind and all those things but something that i heard in a video that i was watching yesterday was someone was saying that you should look at someone's patterns and like their habits so let's say that you're in school and like obviously you're working towards something. If you see that in their daily life, they're a hard worker, they're they're out working, they're studying, they're, you know, their habits on a daily basis is always working towards something, then you can pretty much tell that they're like a hard worker and they're gonna continue that pattern as they move on to different times in their lives. But then you also can look at their patterns in other areas as well, like what are their patterns when it comes to their family? Does he talk to his mom? on a daily basis weekly basis like does he like continuously try to involve his family in his life all of those like little things that really show the kind of person that you are just based off of like the habits and the patterns that you have in your life so i thought that that was kind of an interesting way to look at it next question is and i'm just taking that same color and putting it on my lower lash line the next question is where is elena sleeping now <laughs> You guys, I didn't want to admit this, but she is sleeping with us right now. And honestly, I know that that's going to be a little bit controversial, but she slept in her bassinet and she still sleeps in her bassinet, honestly, for like the first half of the night. But then she just somehow makes it into my bed 
in the middle of the night. We actually ordered a mini crib because you guys, oh my God, a lot of people say like, you don't even use the crib and blah, blah, blah. But man, they're just so right because we don't even use the crib right now for even naps at this point because she sleeps the best in our room. And honestly, I would move our her crib into our room, but we're gonna have to take it apart and put it back together. And we just don't wanna do all that. So I ordered a mini crib to put in our room. And hopefully once that comes in, I'm gonna really work on just keeping her in that crib because I just feel like the bassinet for her right now is just not comfortable. That's the main reason that I just kind of let her stay in my bed. But then the other reason is that I just love having her next to me. But <laughs> anyways, that's where she is. I'm gonna take the shade candle with my finger and just put that on the lids. The next question is, how is your relationship with Omar after you became parents? And I think I mentioned this in some other Q&A right after we had Elena and it was not, it was rocky in the, not rocky, what am I saying? It was just tested, you know, in the beginning because you have a newborn, you're both sleep deprived, you don't have any time for each other, you are, you know, together, well, we were together 24 seven taking care of the baby, but we didn't have any time to actually have an adult conversation because we were just mainly just talking about her. And anyways, it was not easy in the beginning at all, but it has gotten so much better. I'm like happy to report because I knew in the beginning when it was just hard, I was like, I think it's gonna get better. And it has gotten so much better, so much better because obviously things are a lot, a lot less stressful now that she's not a newborn. She's out of that colicky phase and we're just so much better. So anyways, if you're a new mom or new parents or whatever, and you're going through that, like those bumps in the road in your relationship in the beginning, just know that that's normal. And like, inshallah, it will pass and it will get so, so much better. I'm gonna take a thin eyeliner brush, slanted eyeliner brush, and I'm gonna take the shade Fireside, the darkest shade, it's like a chocolate brown we're gonna do a little smoky eyeliner do you still breastfeed because of ramadan how we manage this i think i mentioned this in another video i'm filming this honestly before ramadan but i'm not gonna be fasting this ramadan um since i'm breastfeeding i just didn't want to take a chance in my milk supply since breastfeeding women are exempt from breastfeeding i'm just not gonna push myself and i will just try to make up those fasts in a later date okay the next question is is it hard balancing mom life and being an influencer? I just feel so blessed to be able to stay home and work from home because I do realize I get to spend a lot more time with Elena um, this way rather than having to go to a physical job somewhere else. But I feel like just any working mom, it, it's so hard to balance all of it. And I'm sure that maybe a lot of you guys who have worked from home with the pandemic and everything also are having to stay home and like take care of your kids and work like that balancing all of that is so hard so it's really no different than being like doing what i do because it is an actual job and i have like different deadlines and things like that that i'm trying to manage i'm not saying that i have like the hardest job ever because i'm very very blessed and feel so happy that this is what i get to do but it is really hard to balance everything sometimes but like i said it's probably like that with any job and having kids. Did the postpartum hair loss stop? Yes, alhamdulillah, it stopped. There was a period of time that I'm like, I'm not gonna have any hair left. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have like literally no hair, but thank God it stopped. It was getting to the point where it was just annoying. Like it was just falling all over my baby. I was constantly like scared that she was gonna get that tourniquet syndrome i don't know if you guys have heard of that before i would definitely like be careful with babies around your hair if you can see any hair around your baby's fingers or toes make sure that you remove that immediately so that it doesn't cause tourniquet syndrome where it just gets wrapped really tightly around their either fingers or toes and it can cause circulation issues and it's really hard to remove that so anyways look it up if you've never heard of it before it's actually really scary so yeah that was honestly my one of my main concerns other than like going bald i was scared of that for her so thankfully it has stopped it probably lasted about a month i would say and then it kind of stopped that is the eyeliner which i think looks very good i have really loved doing this eyeliner with the eyeshadow rather than doing a liquid eyeliner just because i feel like it's a little bit softer but if i am going to a special occasion or wedding or anything i do really love using the tattoo liner by kat von d it's a beautiful um liquid liner that has the like just sharpest paintbrush tip that is just the best I've ever tried. So if you're looking for a good black liquid liner, this is the one I would recommend. I'm gonna go ahead and add some of my highlight to my inner corners. I just feel like adding highlight there 
just brings the whole look together and it's a little bit more, it just reflects light even better than the eyeshadow in that palette. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Lash Idol by Lancome. This is one of my favorite mascaras and definitely my favorite from Sephora. It has this like curved brush that is just so nice and like just really curls the lashes up. Baby led weaning, what are you following? Okay, so honestly, I haven't been perfect at following baby led weaning. I let Elena feed herself sometimes and then I feed her sometimes. I'm not doing exclusively baby led, but I did watch the Feeding Littles course and that helped a ton and I learned a lot. I just honestly would get so stressed out with her gagging that I, I just couldn't follow it 100%. And it's just on me. It's not that Elena couldn't do the baby led weaning. I just, I just couldn't. I was so stressed out every time I fed her that I would just wind up feeding her. If any of you guys are that way, just, I don't know, know that I'm right there with you. That is the lashes done. I love that mascara. It just makes them so long, but gives so much volume just like really curls them. I didn't even use a lash curler or anything like that. Highly recommend. Everything will be linked down below, by the way, you guys. The next thing I'm gonna work on is my lips. I went ahead and wiped off the lip mask from earlier, and I'm just taking whatever's left on my sponge and just kind of creating a little blank canvas. I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Hot Gossip. It's just kind of a, like a mauve pink color. Then, this is something I'm super excited about, which is the Sephora Lip Stories Lipstick in the shade Brunch Date. This is kind of an oldie, but a goodie for me. And you guys, this lipstick is like $9. It is so inexpensive and affordable and is the most beautiful formula. This is a matte formula. Peachy nude, and it's like matte, but it's not drying. It is like a really nice creamy matte. If you guys are looking for a good affordable lipstick, the Lip Stories line is really good and I love this shade Brunch Date. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more liner. That is the color and then you guys know I love to finish off with the gloss and this is the Fenty Gloss Balm in Fussy. It's just a really nice like berry color but really just looks good over any lipstick. And then at this point, I just like to see kind of like what my face is lacking. I think I might add a little bit more bronzer to kind of define my cheeks a little bit. I'm just going in with the Too Faced one. I have one more question that I can answer. This one just says, finding yourself again while being a new mom and a wife. <laughs> I would say that in the postpartum phase for me, when Elena was a newborn, and my life revolved around breastfeeding every two hours. I was so lost. I was trying to work at the same, like I was trying to like continue on what I usually do. And you realize that you can't do things the same way anymore, if that makes any sense. At that time, I felt lost. I really did. But I feel like I'm in a much better place now. And I think that you just kind of like shift and learn and you, you move with, you know what's going on in your life that is the completed makeup look just super glowy simple effortless and still glam so i thought it would be perfect for eid or any spring occasions that you guys have coming up everything that i used and mentioned will be down below in the description box thanks again to belief for sponsoring today's video i will go ahead and link the belief aqua bomb brightening vitamin c cream down below i would highly recommend you guys pick it up in the sephora sale so i hope you guys enjoyed like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you're new and i will see you guys in my next one.